If you're in the cryptocurrency market at all, you've probably heard of hardware wallets, and these come in all shapes and sizes, all the way from about £50 to upwards of £200. Right here, I've got the Ledger Nano S, one of the cheapest on the market at just £50. But my question is, is £50 enough to spend on a hardware wallet, or should you be spending a little bit more to get a few more features? That's what we're going to find out in today's video, as I go ahead and review the Ledger Nano S. Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is Review Clue. Uh, yes, of course, before we get into today's video though, if this is the first time that you're seeing my face on your screen, learn one, lucky you, and two, go down there, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification icon so you get notified every time I upload. But before we get into this video, let's talk about hardware wallets. If you don't know what a hardware wallet is, it's a little device like this, normally keychain sized, and what they do is they hold your private keys. Whenever you go to make a transaction on any kind of cryptocurrency on the blockchain, you'll be using this kind of device to sign any of those transactions, be that a buy or a sell. The main reason you might wanna do this is because private keys should be that way, private. If they're kept on your laptop as software keys, then there is a high chance that they can be hacked. And if they steal your private key, then they have your wallet. So that's where these come in. These devices are built to never touch the internet. And any transaction you do gets signed to this, it gets signed, pushed back, and that's it. So let's get right into this review of the Ledger Nano S. As I noted, this is just 50 pounds and I'll put a link in the description to the Ledger page and Amazon. And I'm gonna say what I did in the last video. If you're buying this kind of thing from Amazon, do so at your own risk. I have known people who have bought from Amazon and received open packages with um, recovery phrases already written into them. If you receive one of these with recovery phrases written into it, either send it back to the seller or regenerate those phrases because you really do not wanna be using the phrases that they've given you because nine times out of 10, they're there to steal the money. Anyway, let's get right into the review of the Ledger Nano S. So what do you actually get for your 50 pounds? Well, you get the actual device itself. It's about the size of a USB stick and has a similar design in that we have the little metal sheath that could just be pulled aside to reveal the screen. This has no battery and only has two buttons along the top, left and right. The main reason this has no battery is because it will only ever work if you're plugged into your computer, hence the cable. This is just a micro USB cable and I don't care too much that it's micro USB because I will always only be using the cable that's provided. It just clips into the end like so and the other end into your computer. And that's pretty much it. But you also do get a few accessories, a few different ways that you can attach this to yourself and keep with you at all times. You could have it of course on the keyring like so. They also have a lanyard if you want to keep it around your neck. Now for me, I don't want to be carrying this thing around with me. It's a little bit like me carrying my card and my PIN number around with me everywhere. I probably wouldn't have my PIN number written down with me somewhere. So this thing stays at home and it stays in one of my drawers and I'm not going to tell you which one because if you try to rob me, I'm not going to tell you which drawer it's in. Um, so yeah, this it stays at home with me. But I suppose if you wanted to, you could attach it to a key ring and carry it around wherever you go if you're really into buying and selling on the go. Also in the box, we have a tiny bit of paperwork. And that is little cards like these. These are your recovery sheets. What you need to be doing is when you set up this device, you'll need to be writing down the 24 words that it gives you, and that is your recovery passphrase. Without this, your money is lost forever if you ever break the device or don't have these to hand. Now, what I went ahead and did is I shared these recovery keys or this recovery sheet with the people that I trust the most, family and uh, very, very close friends. So now that I've shared those around with people, if my house burns down, God forbid, I would still have access to my keys because they're with a family or friend. Of course, as a note here, you really do need to be careful. Make sure that the people you are giving these to, you can really trust. So I've given one to my girlfriend and one to my parents, and that's it. If you want a full guide on how to set this up, I have already done one, and it will be up there or in the description down below. Go watch that video, but of course, finish off watching this one first to make sure that this is the right device for you. 
as I noted, this thing doesn't have any kind of battery. And that's one of the biggest downsides in my book. So Ledger do also have the Nano X. The Nano X is their more expensive model at about £100, but contains Bluetooth and can be controlled in a few different ways. This one has to be plugged into a laptop, uh, be that a Mac or a PC, and I think you can also connect it to an Android phone. But if you're on iOS and you want to be able to make transactions on the go where you don't have a laptop, this device is useless to you um, because you just can't. You, you can't sign transactions without having this physically plugged in and sending the transactions, which you can't do on the iOS app. So plugging it in, the first thing it's going to ask you for is the pin. This is something you've already set up and the navigating through the UI is rather clunky. You have the two buttons along the top, pressing left and right will navigate you through the options while double pressing both of the buttons, while pressing both of the buttons down at once will confirm your input. And that's pretty much it. So my main outcome from this was I wanted to keep maybe a couple of coins on here. I would maybe want to keep Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and maybe one other. But the actual memory on this is tiny to the point that you can hold about four different currencies on here. After that point, you've run out of memory and you have to uninstall and reinstall different applications to this device, which you can do through the Ledger Live app easily enough. But it seems like a very slow process to have to install and uninstall apps for holding more than realistically four currencies at once. So if you really do buy into all of your altcoins, this may not be the device for you just because you can only hold up to about four before the device is full. So out of the way of using this thing on the go, what do I actually think of it in terms of build quality? I think the build quality is pretty good. I mean, realistically, this isn't a device I'm gonna be carrying with me everywhere. It comes in a couple of different colors. I've got the lime green here and they had it in black, white, and a few other colors. So you can really accessorize it how you want if that's something that you really care about. Usability is okay. These buttons can sometimes miss or double press and it, it, it's a little bit annoying and takes a while to get used to. But of course, if you're only transacting very occasionally for buying or selling of your coins or withdrawing them, then you're not gonna to worry too much that this might take a little while longer than some others. Of course, it's not the flashiest device either. And something like the Nano X is much nicer looking, more well-built, and in general, a much more useful device, I find, especially if you want to be working on the go and buying and selling on the go. If you're a day trader, this probably isn't the right device for you. But for just £50, I think this is a great first hardware wallet. It's cheap, it's cheerful, and it certainly does the job. And of course, the company Ledger doesn't have the greatest track record. They recently did get hacked and names and addresses were leaked. I didn't actually buy this through the Ledger store. I, I went against my own word and bought this on Amazon, so I wasn't that affected by that. But if you are gonna buy, be buying one of these devices, I highly suggest maybe setting up a PO box, sending it to the PO box and not using a real name because these hacks are, I think this is the second time Ledger has been hacked now for this kind of details. So it's something to bear in mind. So for just 50 pounds, do I recommend this device? I would say yes. If you're just getting into cryptocurrencies and hold a fair amount of um, cryptocurrency, be that over £100, over £500, a hardware wallet is a must. You want to be getting them off of the exchange as soon as you can. So picking up one of these might be a really good choice for you. They are cheap, they're secure as a device, and they just work. Anyway, guys, what did you think of this video? Do you own a Nano Ledger? Anyway guys, what did you think of this video? Do you own a Nano S or have you gone with a Nano X or maybe even a Trezor device? Let me know in the comment section down below and of course, if you have any questions, do let me know and I will try my best to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, go down there, hit that subscribe button, smack a like, comment, do whatever you want. Get this video shared with as many people as you want. My gains in terms of subscribers has really slowed up recently. Maybe that's just because I'm not producing the content that you guys want to see. So let me know in the comments, what do you want to see? And I will catch you in the next one. Adios.